It was a tough job, but we finally have Morello where we want him. Now one last step remains, eliminate him. In his sections of the city, there's theft, robbery, blackmail, illegal lotteries, gaming rooms, and whorehouses appearing all the time. But what's the biggest problem? Drugs? Horseshit. The problem is that we don't get a cent out of it. That'll change as soon as we get rid of Morello. His organization will collapse, and all those small-time cheats, thieves, and criminals will kill each other without anybody over there to maintain order. Today, we can finally remove that bastard once and for all. Paulie has come up with a plan. That's right. What my informants tell me, we have one chance to get this guy. Merlo watches his back and almost never shows himself in public. Goes everywhere in his bulletproof limo, clammed up like some seashell. But today he's coming out. He's going to theater to do some socializing with the creme de la creme of Lost Heaven. And we'll be there to show him something too. Isn't this a bit risky? It's risky, but this is our only opportunity to waste him in public and show everyone our power. We'll do it like this. Wait in front of the building till the end of the show. People will start coming out, so there'll be a lot of confusion. With Morello trying to make his way out, his gorillas won't have much of a chance to notice us before we hit him. Make sure you don't draw any attention to yourselves, so no shooting. Pull your weapons when you see him. I hope I still recognize him. Shouldn't be hard. Well likes to wear his white suits. Not many people wear them these days. Each of you get a Thompson or Lupara from Vincenzo. Wait out in front of the theater on Central Island until Morello comes out. Then go to it. The performance ends at 9 o'clock, so make sure you're there on time. It should work out fine, so don't come back without his head. Okay, boss. Let's get to it. you have the chance to say something to that bastard before you waste him, tell him that I'm not like poor old Peppone, and that this is for him. Sorry, boss? He'll know what I mean. We have a few unfinished scores from the old days. Not now, Tom. I got my hands full, huh? Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. We'll have a glass of something... Vincenzo, today we need some real heavy artillery. We're gonna rub out Morello. Well, I think 600 shots per minute from an old Tommy gun should do the trick. At the same time, we could stick to the ancient ways and use a more traditional Sicilian weapon for a job of this size. Show must have finished earlier. That silver limousine, catch him!
What the hell is happening? Why'd you stop? Uh, I don't know. It just broke down. Jesus Christ, you almost have me. Sam, come on. Let's make this happen. Tom, get out. Go after them. You and Sam shoot them! Come on, you heap of junk! Hold on! Sam, shoot! Bastards! Kill him, Sam! Damn it, Polly. Wow. Yes! Yes! How did you fix the car? Better ask Sam. Why ain't you a mechanic, Sam? That works too dirty for me. Drop us at the front of the bar and come back later. I still got some work today. I'll stop by after.
Hey, Tommy. Hey, you got anything for me today? Well, today was uh, a little rough. How come? Ah, uh, you know, the guys left the car here that was involved in a chase with the cops, and uh, well, I kind of need to get it out of here fast. Why didn't they dump it themselves? Oh, uh, well, we had a deal worked out with them, but uh, it was meant to be a sure thing, and it didn't work out. They were a little pissed, so they left it here. What's in it for me? A lovely German sports car. That's worth the risk. I'll do it. What can I do? Eh, it's pretty simple. Take the car to the cliffs outside of town and dump it in the sea. Cool. But if the coppers spot you, there'll be trouble, so you gotta shake them. Okay.
Okay, where's the car? That guy came in for it a while ago and drove off. But he said he was going for dinner at Roy's Grill. It's downtown. It's just a little way from Pepe's restaurant. Hey, if you hurry, you'll still find a car there. What's going on? Today's customer appreciation day? This one's an exception. He owes me big time. I did a bunch of jobs for him, and I haven't seen dollar one. God knows what he does, but at the same time, he acts like a classy guy. Now, this way, he pays his debts, and I pay my debt to you. Now, you better get going. Right. Thanks. So, you killed Morello. That must have felt good, huh? We celebrated. Salieri was thrilled, of course. We ran the whole town, practically, and there seemed to be an end to the bloodshed. For a while, I felt like a king, until I came to a realization. If a regular guy like me could kill the most powerful man in the city, what good was all his power? Hell, if he hadn't been so powerful, he'd probably still be alive. It seemed to me that no matter how strong someone was, there was always somebody stronger to take them out. So where did that intuitive thought take you? Greediness is bullshit. When you have no money, you think that a few bucks a month will be enough. Then you realize that it wouldn't be bad to have a nice car. You'd get a great job in some high-up position, but in actuality, you're thinking about going higher. Before you know it, you want to be the President of the United States, and you want to win the war against the Germans. Luckily, that won't happen. Plus, the whole strategy of watching other people's backs has one basic flaw. The whole time you have to watch your own back, in case someone else has the same idea. So I thought to myself, that maybe I ought to change my priorities a little. Great Bible story. <laughs> Laugh it up. You know where it got me in the end. This. Who is it? It's from 1920. The old man is Don Pepone. The two younger ones are Salieri and Morello. This photo convinced me that this kind of life is poisonous. Morello and Salieri were friends, and they were both commanders of Pepone's regime. But in the 1920s, they got Don Pepone killed because of some deal. Strangely enough, Salieri still admires the guy now. Afterward, they divided up the city, and each ruled their own part of it. But they started to compete with each other. I ended up being Salieri's instrument of death to kill his best friend, to save him from looking Morello in the eye. It occurred to me that my friends and the people I loved were the same. Someday I'd turn to Polly and be looking straight down the barrel of a gun. I couldn't be sure of anybody, above or below me. But you were risking your life every day. Being a sharpshooter for the Mafia ain't no better roses the way you tell it. It's different when you're living it. When you're full of energy and you're fighting for your life with someone who's like your brother. You're just two soldiers who know what needs to be done. 
And it all depends on your ability to survive. It's a war. The constant feeling that you can't even trust your best friend is terrible. You are alone, and death can come from anywhere. I'd lie awake at night wondering if the joke my best friend told me was really just a joke, or if I should get prepared for my own execution. A person needs someone he can trust. That guy sickens me. He controls half of the brothels in the city, doesn't pay us a dime, and then has the nerve to say he's ending crime in the city. Of course, I wouldn't give a damn about what he says, but him and his whores are trying to expand even into our territory. I have a feeling it's time to finish his political career. With the election such a long way off, we'll have to remove him physically. I don't know, boss. Haven't we seen enough violence for a while? I just have a strange feeling about this. Tommy, we're on the verge of running this town. He's the only thing that's standing in our way. You want him knocked off in public like Morello? In public, yeah. But not like Morello. Remember that knocking off a politician is messier than offing a gangster. We don't want anyone to implicate us. The speculation and fear will be enough for our purposes. So, uh, how are we going to do it? Mr. Sewer has a rally today in a park on a little isle off Central Island. There's only one escape route over a small bridge, and normally it would be a problem. But Vincenzo has an idea. He took a regular army rifle and put a telescopic sight on it. So, you should be able to hit him from a much greater distance. You won't even have to be on the island. Where then? You can get a beautiful view of him from Central Island, from the tower of the old abandoned prison on the north tip of the island. You'll have the whole park right in front of you. And with that rifle, it won't be difficult to take out your target without attracting too much attention. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad plan. Good. Talk to Vincenzo and get the rifle. Okay, boss. And remember, Tommy, you have to do it from a distance, and nobody must see you. You'll probably only get one shot at this. If you don't hit him immediately, they'll cover him and the job will be ruined. I got it, boss. That bastard is a typical example of today's politicians. They make and break the laws. It appears the greatest darkness is under the candlestick. But what weight can a law carry that is made to eliminate the frauds who thought of the scheme when they go and do exactly what they themselves have forbidden? I'll tell you what, none. It's like their own laws didn't even exist. Hey, t -t 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 Tom, I have this for you. It's a sensible, s s spacious, and solid car. I think you, 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 you'll like it. Yeah, and you, you, you can get into it real easy. Thanks, Ralphie. Hey, you got some heavy-duty gear for me, Vincenzo? You need to pick this guy off at a distance, right? So I dug out the best weapon for you. The military trains by mounting a sight on this standard rifle, similar to a hunting rifle. I got hold of a Mosin Nagant rifle. It's produced here, but the Russians upgraded it to a marksman's rifle. It's a good, precise weapon. It looks interesting. Well, I hope it works. Well, Tom, take a decent handgun, too. You never know who you might bump into. Ain't that the truth. 
Thanks. That's him. Coming for us.
He's here! Hello there. How you today? I just got out of jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real cute. Hey, but there ain't time for that now, Tommy. I need you to pick up a guy in the works quarter. But quick, hey, the cops are after him and he doesn't even know about it. Where? Well, you won't see anyone else walking around in a suit there, so you certainly won't miss him. But you gotta hurry before the cops get there or he's finished. Bring him here. Okay, I'm on my way. But I wasn't kidding about being in jail. Cops are after you. I gotta take you to safety. Shit. How do they find me? And now, let's go back to Lucas. What happened, Lucas? Hey, they figured out it was you. They know where you are, and I got wind that they'd be coming for you today. Thank God it worked out that way. I could be sitting on ice. No, no, thank Tom here. He stuck his neck out. Thanks, bud. I'll remember it. Glad to be of help. Okay, you sit down a while, huh? Me and Tom need to uh, work something out. Okay. Oh, Tommy, I have got something nice for you. 16-cylinder with custom bodywork. A collector's piece. 
And where will I find it? Uh, some playboy in Oak Hills having a party today. There'll be loads of guests, and one of them has got exactly the car you are looking for. You open it the same as a regular V16, but otherwise it's more a work of art than a car. You'll know the place, and there'll be a lot of pricey cars parked there. Great, thanks for the tip. Nothing to look at here. Beat it. Weird, don't I? Eh, hey, don't get excited. Can't we just look at it a while? I know how that works. First look, and then the car's gone, huh? Get lost. All right, already. That guy's nuts. Today's job is just for relaxation, boys. There's an import firm that brings in lots of luxury goods from around the world. Yesterday, another boatload of goods came into the harbor, and I have a taste for a few of the items on the list. What do they got that we don't have, sir? Well, I haven't smoked a decent cigar in a long time, and they have almost a ton of them. Cigars? Yeah, cigars. Something strange about that? Customers in our nightclubs are interested in good quality cigars, but they're expensive and difficult to get. If we manage to get a truck full of the best cigars, we could make as much money as we would off a bank job. What? Oh my God, just bring me a truckload. Paulie, explain it to them. Okay. It's like this. Polly, what the hell is going on? How the hell would I know, Tommy? Better than just snare a truck full of expensive cigars. The Don wants them and it makes us money. So it's up to us to get them. It just seems a bit small time for him. Forget about it, Tom. The cigars we gotta steal are packed in crates at the harbor. We need to get them to a truck and leave the harbor. First, we have to get in. How do we do that? There's a tougher guard at the harbor now than when Morella was around. Exactly. Brute force won't work. So we're gonna play this one cool. 
We'll just nab one of the trucks while they're moving goods around the city. The trucks have signs on them that say Atlantic Import. We'll wait for one to come out of the harbor, follow it to a nice quiet place with no cops, then block its path. A few shots into the air or to get the driver out. Once we take his papers, one of us can get into the harbor. So we're gonna kill the poor bastard? Nah, it's too much hassle. So long as we get him out and get everything he's got on him. You'll take the truck to the harbor, Tommy. Load it up with the crates of cigars, then we'll meet at the agreed place. I'll load them up alone, unload them alone, and then maybe I'll smoke a few. So what are you gonna do? We'll wait a little away from the harbor at the agreed place. If somebody starts tailing you, we'll deal with them. Then you take the truck to the handoff point. Yeah, right. How will I recognize these crates? We'll have a sign on that says Scorsese Import-Export. And the agreed place? We'll go there and I'll show you. Yeah, first we'll go there and then we'll get the truck. So let's go. We'll chat later tonight at the bar. I ain't in the mood to talk. Not now, Tom. I got my hands full, huh? Hey, boy, so what'll it be? Get Tom here a bat and a gun, and get us two Thompsons. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Vincenzo. A lot of stuff going on. I can't talk right now. Uh, I've never seen this lock before. <laughs> hey there, boys. I have something here for you. Something special today. Yeah, I like it. Looks pretty good. You can g g g get into it this way. Yeah, okay. We can do that. Thanks, Ralphie. Hey, it, it, it's nothing. This is perfect. Since we're all here, I want to ask you about something. What's on your mind? Well, I got this idea. I might need you to do a little job with me. Oh, yeah? What's the deal? Well, it's a big deal, actually. I can't manage it alone. You're my good buddies. We know each other, you know? And Salieri? He know about this? Nah. 
He doesn't, and he doesn't need to know. He's already got enough money. So, what's it all about? Well, I was checking out this bank. What? What? Cool it. It's okay. This bank isn't too secure. It's just a little joint. At the end of the month, they always have a big pile of money in the safe. We'd be pretty loaded if we pulled it off. Or we'd all be dead. What's the matter with you? Besides, we've got plenty of money. Bull, we ain't doing bad, but we sure aren't loaded. Salieri ain't a bad boss, but once in a while I like to make some decent dough on the side. Not some tiny share. Hmm. I'm not sure it's such a great plan, Polly. What do you say, Sam? Count me out. The family's pretty important to me. Yeah, right. You're probably right. Forget about it. I was just thinking out loud. Okay, good. Okay, I think it's time. I'll go get ready. I'll be back in a while. Tom, let's get to the hub. Wait here for a truck and then follow it. We'll overtake it in a safe spot and take what we need. Stop right there. Show me your license. Your papers. I said show me your license. We ain't allowed in here. Papers and nothing will happen to you. I didn't do nothing to you. You don't have this man. Tom, that wasn't necessary. I'll meet Sam and we'll wait for you. Good luck, Tom.
you going? Why are you standing around doing nothing? We need all hands on deck today. I need you to take those crates down to the dispatch hall. I'm gonna go take a leak, and it better be done when I get back. Uh, 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 yes, Chief. down to the dispatch hall. All right, then. Okay, let's go, boys. But you threw them here like trash. Chief, boys of the train, they need you. They're having some problems. I should have known. As soon as I turn my back, everybody immediately gives up. something completely different than what these papers say. Get them. Get them.
Sam's going to get Salieri. Us two will take the truck to the warehouse. We'll all meet there in a little while. Okay, we're going. Today was just great. While you two messed around, I carried at least a ton of crates surrounded by guys with guns. Somebody had to do it, and you're the youngest. Tim always has the bright ideas. <laughs> oh, so it's Sam. Next time, you can unload the truck. I ain't touching another crate. Well, we'll see about that. We can finally see what's inside these crates. Good idea. Hope it didn't get damaged on the way. A few of them fell off. The cigars are smashed up. Well, it ain't so bad. This one's just bent, so we'll straighten it out. I messed that up. What the hell are you doing? What? I dropped a few things, nothing big. Hey, Box, what do you got inside? Christ! Tom, you ain't gonna believe this! What is it? What's inside those boxes? Damn, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Well, they don't look like cigars. And it's definitely not rock candy. Those are diamonds, and a hell of a lot of them. What if they're just phonies? You know, they exchange cigars for mirrors, props, beads, stuff like that. I think only Columbus got away with that. These look like diamonds, Tom. There's a hell of a lot of them. I knew Salieri wouldn't risk so much for some damn cigars. Well, it looks like you were right. What do you want to do? Should we take them? What? You think we'd get away with it? Well, we could say that some crates got lost in the chase. Or you can forget that. That's bullshit. Put them back where you found them. I don't want to end up with a hole in my head. 
we just took one or two each. And there's so many. Holy. Okay, okay, I'll put them back. What if Salieri doesn't even know about them? I think we can easily find out if he knows. How? Sam's bringing him here right now. Come, we'll see firsthand if he knows. Bravo, boys. You did it. You got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. Ah, one crate got broke, but it's nothing. Looks like these ones at the back are okay. Bravo, bravo. Boss, should we unload the crates and put the cigars into the warehouse? Uh, no, no, not yet. Anyway, why should you do it? I can get someone else. You want to work at my warehouse, too? <laughs> Now nah, go take it real easy, boys. Good work. Polly? Huh? I'll stop by tomorrow and we can talk about that little deal you first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 